one beer. Hmm. Oh, never steal your wife's beer when she's crafting because there's a good chance it's warm. Yep. Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts, where craft beer and handcrafts combine, usually in a messy way, and we are back to using aluminum and adhesive today, so Chu will not be in the room. Nope. Wait, where am I now? Well, I'm not using the adhesive right now. Oh. I'm not going to let you glue yourself to anything. Before I can get going on a beer craft, got to have a beer pour. Today, I have George's original Atlanta Brewing Company Hop Lanta since 1993. This is a 6.8 ABV, 12 fluid ounce can, and it says classic citrusy and balanced on here. This was a gift from Blue Ice when we went down to Atlanta, and I have been hanging onto it in the fridge waiting for uh, to use it on this craft, so yay. Thank you, Blue. If you haven't checked out Blue Ice's channel, you must, because he's amazing. Hop Lanta from Atlanta Brewing Company. Mm. It smells like a straight up West Coast. Like I get uh, kind of a citra scent to it. Classic hops, you know. Uh, I'm not smelling a lot of juice. Mostly just hops. So dive right in. Cheers, everyone. Some, something weird happened. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, it starts out like a, a juicy West Coast. Uh, it started out with a juice front, um, citrus mostly, uh, you know, grapefruit, tangerine, that kind of thing. Then the hops kicked in, and then it went suddenly extraordinarily funky, and I was not expecting that. And uh, it just surprised me because I got none of that on the nose. Juice, hop, funk. Yeah, the funk just kind of sneaks in from the back and just takes over the mouth at the end. Unexpected, it, it kind of reminds me of like a farmhouse ale or like a Saison or something, where it has that uh, sneak attack of funk. <laughs> it sounds like it should be a song, doesn't it? Sneak attack of funk, too. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, it starts out very similar to a lot of ones I had, but that ending is totally different. Yeah. It, it is interesting how it does that. Yeah, it definitely takes you on a journey for that one. Wow. You got a time release template. Yeah, yeah. It has time release on the flavors. Blue, that's really interesting. I'd, I'd never had one from this brewery before, so this is really exciting. Thank you so much. I'm gonna enjoy this while I'm, you know, cutting up cans and... Uh, speaking of which, for uh, this is for Schoolhouse Brewing Company in Marietta, Georgia. And today we are going to be making a school bus out of aluminum cans. I have spent several hours doing all the math and things to figure stuff out and drawing diagrams and there were a lot of things involved in figuring out this one so fingers crossed I'm hoping it's not another crash and burn craft. We are just going to get started right away, show you how to clean and cut the cans and then we're going on with the first steps. Here we go! <laughs> For Schoolhouse Brewing, we are creating a school bus. This school bus is going to be four and a half inches high, three and a half inches wide, and 14 inches long. Obviously a beer can is not 14 inches long, so we will be using some adhesive today. Fingers crossed that Chu doesn't get his fingers glued. When these are open and flat, 
They are just over eight inches long. So yeah, I'm gonna have two of these from front to back glued on one end to make the length that we're looking for. So the length is going to be almost two of these long. It's gonna be a pretty big school bus. I'm gonna start with side one. It's going to represent 10 feet by 31 and a half feet, which is the average size for a 72 capacity school bus. Um, I am doing the flat front, not the dog nose front on the bus. Uh, first of all, easier to make, but also all of my school buses were always like that and I wanted to do it that way. It's gonna be four and a half inches by 14 inches. Because I'm going to be gluing two pieces together, I'm leaving a little extra uh, as a spot for the glue to hold. We got a brand new container, crazy glue boys and girls. Please use carefully, this stuff is Killer. So I'm going to glue first, measure after. I hate waiting for the glue to dry. But it gives me an excuse to have some more hot lanta. The front of a school bus is 10 feet tall by 8 feet wide. We're going to do 4.5 inches tall by 3.5 inches wide. This will be the school bus front and back. Initial cutting and gluing done for the aluminum. So I have two sheets that are three and a half inches by four and a half inches. That is the front and back of the bus. I have one sheet that is three and a half by 14 inches. That is gonna be the bottom of the bus. And then I have three sheets that are four and a half by 14. And these are gonna be the two sides and the top. The top of a school bus is curved, and I'm going to have it overlap onto the edges of the sides. I suppose we are headed then to the garage, and we are going to paint these uh, school bus color, and then get to the decorating. Yay! <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Right, we're going to be spray painting, so that means another beer pour. This is from Steady Hand Beer Company in Atlanta, Georgia. What are you doing? Steady Hand. Oh, Steady Hand. You dork. Uh, this is a Cascara Sour, ale brewed with Cascara, red tea, and cherry. This is a 5.8 ABV. And let's give it a pour. Oh, I like that color a lot. Looks like a good red ale. Wish that hadn't happened. All right, let's see how it smells. Oh, it smells sour. <laughs> My nose puckered. It was a straight up sour smell. There's a cherry scent to it. Cheers, everyone. Ooh, definitely got a pucker on it. Makes you salivate a lot right after. It's kind of a dark sour though, not like bright citrusy. It's it tastes like dark fruits in the tart way. Um, ooh, that's really tasty and it lingers. It sits, sits pretty on the tongue for a while. Mm. And now I have my beer, I can shake some paint. And drink beer. I did it. <laughs> I'd love to see some of you other guys try this. I think it would be really funny. <laughs> so we're gonna paint the top white first. Cool. That's done. In the meantime, I am also going to paint the rest of these yellow. These are gonna take a little while to dry. Give me some time to work on my beer here. I'll give them another touch up. And then once they're completely dry, I will start doing the designs on them. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> The roof, when it attaches to this side, will actually overlap by a half inch. So I've marked a half inch down for where the roof's going to connect. And then I need to worry about the windows. I'm going to start towards the rear and work my way forward. Ruler's placed one inch below the top of the side. 10 to 11, eight to nine. Six to seven, 
zero to one. So now we're at two inches down from the top. Okay. Got a driver's window as well. Now, aside from that, buses usually have three horizontal black lines, and between the top black line and the middle black line, it usually says the name of the school district to which the school bus belongs. And I am going to get out my paint pens and draw in some windows. That way you can see them all pretty. Next would be the first black line. And I'm going to run it from the middle of that window, the front window, to the tail end of the last window. A quarter inch down from there. Okay, give it a little space. I'm going to do another one. up with yellow because I got some on my hand and then managed to spread it over the channels called imperfectly me for a reason. <laughs> I really shouldn't have my foot folded under me because my legs falling asleep. I'm feeling pretty okay with that one. We are going to look at side number two. This side is going like this. So this side is the front. Front. Actually, let me start with the windows so they line up proper with the other side. From one to two, from three to four, from five to six, from seven to eight, from nine to ten, from eleven to twelve. Next is the door. write the word schoolhouse on here. I'm going to start under the second to last window. Sides are good. Moving on to uh, front and back. Mm. Cheers. When I was diagramming the front and back, an inch from either side colored black for the front. It was the same amount down. Now, it does have two lights in it too. Just use the negative space and leave the lights as the yellow paint. So first, make the square. One bigger light. Make it approximately the same here. Bigger light. And then one smaller light. Smaller light. And then I'm going to color the rest in black. Three quarters of an inch for the bumper down below. Color it all in black. Yeah, I'll leave a license plate. <laughs> sure. Bumper done. Next, two windows and the door. Okay. And I'm moving on to the front. I'm going to do the same thing on the top. Then have the windshield. Have the grate on the front, and then the bumper. Next is the windshield, which is going to be very, very large. Oh, bumper first. How far was that? Three quarters. Last is the grate. In there. Straight down. Again, not perfect. Isn't it schoolhouse brewery? No schoolhouse brewing. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why are you even up here? What are you doing? Oh no. Looking at your super glue. You don't get to have the super glue. No super glue for two. Just need to wait a little bit for the paint to fully dry. And then I'm gonna start some assembly. I was sitting on my feet and now my legs asleep. <laughs> but you can't rhyme. If I give you time. Feet and sleep don't rhyme. 
<laughs> I told you you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> we have sides, front, back, top and bottom. So the trick is going to be getting a long strip of glue here, sticking it down, waiting. Oop. <laughs> Anybody else seeing the problem here? <laughs> I'm talking about how I'm going to glue the roof on like this, with the two sides like this. Are you seeing a problem? I'll take that. <laughs> Let's turn this one right side up, shall we? I need to glue. I'm out. Yeah. I need, I, I'm gonna need extra hands though, that's the problem. And I need hands that don't get themselves glued to the bus. So I have a mark that's a half inch down. Mm -hmm. That's where I want the roof to attach. I gave it a slight curve to start just because I knew it would be harder to curve once it was glued. But once I get the glue on here, it needs to be held down for a brief period. Well, yes, I can do one <laughs> candle, but I, I'm still going to need extra hands. So I've invited Chu to help out with this part a little bit, which is frightening. And all of you mark your calendars because today is a day where Chu gets glued to a school bus, <laughs> which you haven't seen yet. That's new. Got the crazy glue out. Be afraid, Chu. Don't point it at me. I can't even open it. Don't point it at me. It's going to fly at me. I can tell. It's glued shut. It's not flying at anybody. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Yep. Not on purpose. If that's any consolation, I don't know that it is. There's not enough glue coming out. Did you run out of glue? No, it's a brand new bottle. But there's not enough coming out is my problem. And now we wait. The wheels on the bus go round and round, <laughs> round and round, round and round. <laughs> Goofball. Uh, the wipers on the bus go splish splash sploosh. <laughs> no, the beer on the bus goes splish oh. splash sploosh. <laughs> the wipers on the bus go swish swish swish. I oh. can't say it either. Swish swish swish. <laughs> the beer on the bus goes sploosh sploosh sploosh. Beer on the bus. <laughs> Was it splish splash sploosh? The beer on the bus goes in my tummy. In my tummy. You're right, I'm probably gluing this to the table, aren't I? Probably. I got experience about that happening. Oh, the glue is trying to come out over here. Careful, don't I touch know. it. It's right at the corner. Don't touch it. It's trying to get me. <laughs> Yeah, that guy's the glue's trying to get him. There. Right where his finger is there. Yeah, in the corner. It's coming after you. It's coming after you. Hmm, you got glue in Seriously? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should let it dry. I, I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna let this fully dry. So we are going to be doing the fold just a little bit onto where the side is. I'm thinking like a quarter inch. Will you come around this side maybe? I think we might have a little better luck. Get close and cuddly, darling. Good, good job. Ta-da! One down. And I do recommend having a buddy help you with this part. Yeah, you gotta, gotta go find a buddy then. Uh, I don't need a buddy, I got a husband. Chew, look at that. Look at that! Ah, I love it. It's three quarters down. Is too 
pie. We found the need to make it a little more sturdy, so I used some foam board cut to the shape that the ends needed to be. So right now we're looking at gluing the front onto this piece, placing this inside like that. I think that's going to work just fine. I need to trim the other side exactly the same as this one. This shape fit really well. I'm going to trace and do it again, but flip it. Can you glue one? No, I better not <laughs> let you. No, you don't get to play with the glue. So guys, I highly recommend Crazy Glue, but if you see this packaging, this is really hard to use. I have indents on my fingers from trying to press to actually get glue out. I don't recommend that style at all. All right, these are gonna have to dry for a bit. Water time. Water? It's beer time. It's always beer time. We should do the same on this with the foam board. Oh well, yeah. As a more sturdy base. Chew your fingers awful close to glue right now. No, oh, it's in a minute. Plus we gotta give the viewers what they want. <laughs> what they want is you glued to a table? Yep. I, I, I was just talking about actually doing it. Jeez. Front of the bus is this end. Front of the bus is this one. I have a feeling this is going to be problematic. We went in here with some duct tape. We got this all taped down inside both sides. Now this is going to be enclosed, so nobody's going to see all the duct tape. Not a problem. We've got the setup for our little bus here. Here's the front and the back. And now we just got to put the bottom on. We have our bottom piece on a piece of foam board. I'm going to be actually taking electrical tape because I wanted something black. Placing it along the edges of the bottom piece and folding that over onto the bus. Looks like the skirting at the bottom of the bus, so that works just fine. Good point. Have to be smarter than the tape. I'm starting with the long sides first. I want to place all the tapes on the bottom before I put the bottom on there because I want to line it all up. Press it tight and then fold the tape down. All right, so we're doing one long piece now. Now this baby can go off-roading. <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> no. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have us a finished schoolhouse brewing school bus to go up on their shelf. This one was crazy to make. Uh, there were some major difficulties, a uh, couple times where I thought for sure it was gonna end up being a crash and burn craft, but we managed to pull through. Again, I know it's not perfect, but I mean, there's a, there's a reason I called the channel this. <laughs> Cause I don't really believe in perfect. I believe in me. This craft was made for Schoolhouse Brewing in Marietta, Georgia. Schoolhouse Brewing is where education meets recess. They are a homebrew store as well as a homebrew school. They offer classes online and in person, all about brewing, and they never brew the same beer twice. Every single beer that they brew, the ingredients and the instructions are posted online, the entire recipe, for anyone to try. So you go there, try the beer, go home, make it yourself. They are educating a whole new league of brewers, which is pretty amazing. If you get a chance and you're in Marietta, Georgia, you gotta check out Schoolhouse Brewing. And who knows, maybe when you go there, you'll see our little school bus up on a shelf somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly hope so. All right, guys, I am gonna sign off. This has been tons of fun. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. Try again. There we go. <laughs> you made me hit the school bus. Oh, we gotta redo it.
Oh, I'm not, I'm not redoing it right now. <laughs> I need at least two beers first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Schoolhouse Brewing. Beep, beep. Cheers, everybody. Good, 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 good. You shush. Good. <laughs>'Cause I wander around in different shoes all the time. <laughs> uh, actually, no, that is not next. I'm not smart. Uh, next is actually. Agreed. Well, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Mark it down in the calendar. I was wrong for once in my life. Oh. I'm poking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> no, the moment I set it down, I put a big old thumbprint in fresh paint. I would suggest not doing it. Thanks, darling. Yeah, no problem. Doesn't trust me with glue, but she trusts me with sharp objects. You got that, guys? <laughs> Guess we won't be painting the top white. <laughs> Look here. No. Look where it is. You only got... Like I said, right where you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, baby.